Hi everybody, this is Connie and welcome back to my adult coloring obsession. Um, I've got a couple books for you this time and I'll show you a little bit of what I've been doing. I haven't been doing a whole lot, but what I have been doing I've been loving. So the first one I want to talk about is Splash of Color, Coloring Fun for People of All Ages. This is a volume one, so I'm expecting there to be several more. Um, this is a Christmas special, so you know that I bought it back Christmas time. Color your way to a calmer life. Take a healthy time out from your busy day to unlock your creativity and focus your mind. 31 beautiful images await you. Let the inner artist make them uniquely your own. The pages are perforated so you can easily remove your artwork to display it or save it in a special crap, crap, scrapbook or portfolio. And this is what it looks like. This is the back cover. So let's look at a few pages here. Presents. More presents. See, this book I'm not particularly fond of. This is probably be one of the ones that I do when I'm really bored. There, I did one. <laughs> That's done with colors, too, I believe. Yep, with Crayola colors. go. One that I started. A bunch of houses. And there's one that I did when I first got the book. And that is it. It's got the color wheel on the inside cover. That's that one. All right, this next one is Coloring for Creativity. Release your imagination through coloring. And color your way to innovative and artistry with this beautiful book of creative patterns. Coloring inspires the imagination and increases creative flow as it's both inventive and artistically stimulating. Discover just how visionary you are and create beautiful patterns throughout the simple act of coloring. And this one is a thick book. Isn't that pretty? That is such a pretty... I just love the colors of some of these. You know, it's got the gold lettering and just pretty. All right, so let's get started here. This one's a bigger one. And these are both sides, but it is, it feels like really good, um, good paper. As you know, I'm not crazy about both two-sided coloring, but um, if it's got good paper, then I don't mind so much. Look at that. A fox and an and a eagle or a falcon or something there. Like a gecko type stuff. These are nice. These are very nice. Wow. Big old bug. Me and bugs, not so much. Look at that one, though. That one's going to be fun. That one's going to be really fun. And so is that one. <laughs> that bird looking up there. Ostrich or whatever. Cute. Fun. I like stuff like this. Now that is going to take me a while. That one is fun. I love all the lines and stuff in this one. This, I gotta say so far, this is my favorite. There we go. Giraffes in love for mommy and mommy and baby. That one's gonna take a while too. Pretty pretty. Love that one. Wow. Wow wow. See, all of these are meant to be two color. I mean, they, they go together. Love this one, too. This one here is just up my alley, too. I love it. 
big old Mandela. Oh, this is an awesome book. Awesome, awesome. This one here cost me, it's $12.99, which actually is not a bad price for this size of a book. I mean, this has got a lot of pictures in it. I have not done any of these yet, but um, I will. But that is just, I love this color, this, this cover. So beautiful. They say covers can really pull you in. Well, this one pulled me in. And it's just with these so many pictures in it um it was definitely worth the price for this one i believe so anyway let's get to looking i'm back in the mindful coloring book and this this is my favorite coloring book i've gotten so far i wish it was bigger but yet it's big enough i can stick it in my purse easily so uh this is what i'm doing right now and i bent the page up a little closer here I don't have a whole lot left to do but it just um, this kind of stuff just takes time I'm using a new set of gel pens and um, they are very fine tipped so it it's nice for doing like edging work and stuff but for filling in it takes me much longer Let's see what else I've got done. Some of this stuff you've seen already. Smartening up and not using like this so much. I, I rather like the looks of the whole thing filled in with one color. It's much easier to do. There's one that I've started I have not finished. One of my favorites. I love doing these these kind of curly Q um, line work. And like this. I just did these. Each box type had had a range of colors like the pinks to the reds, stuff like this. And the different shades of blue, different shades of greens, oranges, purples. And then with the mix of the glitters and the, the um, matte colors and stuff like this, um, gel pens, the glitters are definitely my favorite because, first of all, they're pretty and they're sparkly. And, you know, us as a girl, I like the pretty sparkly stuff. But um, they glide so much easier. They are easier, the easiest ones to color with by far. So anyway, this, this week's color books are Coloring for creati Creativity and Splash of Color, the Christmas edition. So if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you've got either one of these books or books that you recommend, etc. And I'll talk to you very soon. Or